Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips of South Alabama Home Inspections. Uh, welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. I'm going to do a brief video on what I consider the one of the biggest hidden problems uh, that most people don't think they have, but is probably prevalent in more than half the attics in our area, and that's excessive heat in that attic space, and also, in some cases, excessive humidity. And so what we're looking at is a wireless temperature and humidity monitor. Uh, these are relatively inexpensive. You can get them online, uh, probably for around $50. Uh, they're not hard to install because they are wireless. And so what we're looking at as far as this rigging here, it's 77 degrees inside with 43% humidity. Um, but let's go to the bottom left number. Uh, it's showing 109 degrees in the attic and 45% percent humidity and so the outside temperature is 88 degrees of uh, 67 percent humidity out there <clears throat> that one at the bottom uh, that's the crawl space and so really the humidity levels of in any like the attic or the crawl space or inside the house that all should be below uh, 60 percent and it is in this case we're looking at so uh, when it gets around 60 and above uh, humidity that's when you can start having uh, potential mold problems but you know the focus of this video here is the temperature in the attic and ideally uh, the temperature in the attic uh, should be no more than 10 to 20 degrees max uh, hotter than the outside air and so let's go on up there in the attic and take a look and that's probably one of the sensors there from the wireless um, temperature humidity system but you can see also, you know, we're not even in August yet. You can see some of the sweating of this uh, sap coming out of the lumber. And that's usually caused from excessive heat inside the attic. And I've measured uh, deck temperatures as high as 140 degrees. And so what can happen is if you, if you have a excessively hot attic, it will greatly reduce the life of your shingles above it. And I've even seen it shorten the life as, uh, to half on three-tab shingles. And so this is the reason why you want to kind of monitor what the temperatures and humidity is up in this area because this is a real critical uh, part of the structure of the home. And if you have these conditions up here, you need to contact a qualified roofer or ventilation specialist that can come and add more ventilation to uh, the attic area. Now this particular home here has a, a ridge vent up there above and so the way this is supposed to work is the soffit vents on the lower uh, part of the house, which I'm going to turn my light off, maybe you'll be able to see it, maybe not. I don't know if you can see that light around there. You should be able to see light. When you're, if you go up in your attic and uh, turn off your light, you should be able to see light around the lower edge of your roof if you have soffit vents there and so what happens sometimes is insulation will block that and will not allow the cooler air from the lower part of the attic area to come up through the attic and come out the top. Now another problem I've run into as well is where they've actually added uh, powered ventilation but they put the powered vent right there close to the ridge and so what will happen is they'll just circulate the air at the top and so that's why you really should have this uh, performed by a professional as far as adding additional uh, ventilation if you're at, to your attic if, you, if that needs to be done. Now another thing as well too, uh, if you have a metal roof and if they did not put a thermal break uh, between those metal panels and the roof, uh, it can really raise the temperatures of the, of the attic uh, really high. I've, I've measured temperatures high as 140 degrees. Uh, on this roof decking and that's not good I mean it really isn't and if you have content stored up here in the attic well what can happen is it can uh, create a fire hazard and even damage the, the products that you have up here and most people don't come up into their attic until it's around Christmas time or so and so just know that you might have some damaged products up here at that time when you come to do this so and also uh, if it rains really good that's a good time to get up in your attic and actually look around up here to see if you have any leaks because what can happen if uh, water can actually accumulate and get soaked up by this insulation and it, it won't be apparent to the drywall below it 
because of the drop before it has a chance to get to it. And also check around your uh, vents coming up through uh, the attic as well. So I hope this has been somewhat informative to you. I'm Chuck Float, South Alabama Home Inspections. And uh, just take the time to do the due diligence and get your wireless uh, temperature humidity uh, monitor system so you can kind of sort of keep up with this. Uh, they're relatively easy to install and not that expensive. Uh, thanks again and keep cool.